Sunflower sea stars are one of the largest and fastest sea stars in the world's oceans. And a decade ago, they were a common sight from Mexico to Alaska. Now, this once abundant predator is missing from most of its range. The global population has shrunk by over 90%, a decline that recently earned them the IUCN Red List status of critically endangered. So what happened? Beginning in 2013, sea stars were hit hard by an underwater epidemic known as sea star wasting syndrome, a condition that literally turns them into goop. Sunflower stars were particularly devastated. The disease killed an estimated 5.75 billion sunflower stars, the biggest marine wildlife disease outbreak on record. We knew sunflower stars were important predators that help maintain the health of marine ecosystems, including kelp forests. But the impact of their loss is proving that we underestimated these many armed marvels. Urchins have been mowing down kelp forests without their sunflower star predators to keep them in check and multiple marine heat waves have devastated kelp forests even further. We need to find out what's going on. This is where long-term underwater research proves invaluable. Over the last 50 years, scientists and recreational divers from 60 institutions conducted over 61,000 surveys which supplied the data for the critically endangered listing. These efforts have enabled researchers to find out where sunflower star populations have been hit hardest and where they might be holding on. For instance, in some cold deep water fjords in British Columbia, there's early evidence of potential remnant populations. Scientists to the south haven't given up on seeing these impressive creatures return either. Programs to breed sunflower stars in captivity, led by the Nature Conservancy, are in their early stages as a safeguard against extinction and a source for recovery. We're beginning to better understand how the loss or re-emergence of sunflower stars has ripple effects on the habitats where they live. All is not lost. Sunflower stars are now critically endangered. But even though we've lost 90% of the population, 10% is still out there, and they need our attention. 